Hey, what's going on, Agents for Life? This is uh, podcast 226. I'm glad you're here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope business is good. I hope things are going well. If they're not, you've got next week. Tomorrow's a new day. Every day is a clean slate, right? You got to keep reminding yourself of that because the business can get kind of discouraging if you fall into the trap of having a few bad days in a row and thinking, hey, this is how it's always going to be, right? So um, definitely hope things are good for you and that uh, if they're not, that they're going to be turning around anytime. You just got to keep at it because consistent effort is the key. I have no idea why I went off on that little mini tangent right there. But anyways, let's jump into the training. Um, I want to talk a little bit with you today about the Equus system, okay, and how important it is for us to systematize our businesses. Okay, first of all, you all know about the cash flow quadrant, right? ESBI, Robert Kiyosaki, employee, self-employed, business owner, investor, right? And when you start selling life insurance, you are not an employee, but you're self-employed. So technically, you could say that you're an, you're an employee of yourself because you've hired yourself to do a job. Okay, but the thing with the left side of the cash flow quadrant is that it is active income. So if you're just spending time for dollars, you could be spending time for a lot of dollars, but it's still time for dollars. So at the end of the day, as long as you have the time, you're going to be able to make money, but there's going to be a cap still. It might be a tall cap, might be way up there, might be a much bigger cap than you can get at your job, but there is a cap nonetheless of your income because you only have 24 hours in a day. And this is why we need to duplicate, okay? We're in the distribution business. We're trying to get our products and our services out there to the masses. And if you do it with one person, you can make a small blip of a difference. If you do it with 100 people, you can make a huge difference. And you've now duplicated yourself by leveraging the time and the energy and the talents of other people. Hence the idea of building an agency. We all talk about building and the importance of building, right? So you probably heard this a lot lately because Equus is really pushing it, getting that opportunity out there for other people to come join our team and do a side hustle and get out of their job or whatever it is that they're trying to do. So we want to make sure that we're building, but the way that we build is by plugging people into the system because the system does the work. A lot of new agents feel uncomfortable building because they don't have a story yet, and you might be this, or they don't have, uh, they don't, they don't feel like they're ready to start mentoring. They don't have all the answers. Okay, let me answer both of those because those are the two most common reasons why people don't want to build. You don't have a story yet. Number one, use someone else's story because all the stories around here are true. There's a lot of them. You can use mine, right? So you can use someone else's story. The stories still validate the system and the opportunity, right? Are there not agents producing in high volume, making tons of money every day? Well, does it have to be you doing that in order for someone to recognize that that's a possibility here? No, you can use someone else's story. Number two, don't stay there though. Build your own story, okay? You know what? Take 30 days. Put your head down, put your blinders on, go all in, take, you know, $500, $1,000 more than you've ever invested in leads, go, go to your savings account, go to your credit card, your mom and dad, whatever, you know, scrimp, save, uh, scrap your way to a nice size lead bill and go get yourself scared from a lead purchase because that's where big things happen. You know, get 50, 100 leads and just start attacking them like you've never attacked them before. Put your head down for 30 days and see what you can do. What I'm saying is make your own story and then you have something to talk about. You can tell people, yeah, I put my head down for 30 days and I wrote $10,000 of APV. I made six grand that month, more than I've ever made at my job or whatever. I mean, if you attack for 30 days, you can make double that. Um, so whatever your story comes out, now you've got one, right? So go create one if you don't have one or borrow someone else's. Okay, the second reason, though, that people hesitate to reach out is because um, they don't feel like they can be the mentor. Okay, the system does the mentoring. I will help mentor those people for you. So you don't have to worry about being the mentor, having all the answers. So let's talk about the system because I just updated a page on the Agent Builder website that I want you all to be able to utilize. Okay, and there's more good stuff coming, but I just blocked off a bunch of time yesterday and knocked this out. 
So in the training section of the Agent Builder website, if you go there, um, you'll see a new dropdown. And what it does, it talks about pending and carriers. So okay, it's called carriers and applications. And this is, this is going to walk anybody through exactly how to access an application, check pending business, and even run quotes by all the key carriers that we work with. So when you have a new person, you don't have to answer those questions anymore. I just created a resource that allows you to duplicate. You can send them to the page and say, learn how to do an Aetna application. It's right there. Learn how to do an AmeriCo application. It's on there. American Amicable, Colombian Financial Group, Ethos, Foresters, GPM, Great Western, Mutual Omaha, Prosperity, and Transamerica. Okay, that's what I did. And I opened up my, I shared my screen, opened up my portal and showed you how to do an application, where they are, how to look for pending business, how to run a quote. These are all mini, mini training videos. They're three to five minutes long and it answers all the questions for you. So you don't have to field those questions when you have new agents wondering how to do this. So let me tell you, let me ask you a question. Let's suppose that you wanted to, to get a job at McDonald's. And you, you, you know, you probably heard analogies for McDonald's because they have an amazing system. So I'm going to use it as well. I like, Mc, I don't like the food, but I like their system, man. I would love to own a McDonald's, right? When you own a McDonald's, you're almost guaranteed success. So you have, uh, you go in for a job interview and they make you an offer. Okay. And they'll, they'll pay you minimum wage to flip burgers. And they will also, in that same offer, within the next three to five years, allow you, if you do your job as a burger flipper, to own that McDonald's building, okay? But you have to do your job as a burger flipper in order to do that. Would you take that offer? What kind of an offer would that be? Well, if, you, you know, if you're an owner of a McDonald's, I don't know how many hundreds of thousands of dollars a year you make, but you're, you're doing pretty good, right? Now you... You don't have to be there. You fill it full of teenagers. The system runs it, right? Okay. So what if the provision on that is the only way you can own the McDonald's is if you're willing to flip burgers and be an employee for a while, okay? And the, the time is flexible, but you got to come in and, and do and pay your dues. And then at some point down the road, it could be a couple of years, it could be five years, the offer will be there. You can own that McDonald's. Okay. That's the offer we have. But so many people go in and say, Hey, that sounds great. Um, but I just wanted to flip the burgers. I, I don't want to own the McDonald's thing. That, that sounds like too much work. I, I just want to flip the burgers. Okay. I mean, you can keep flipping burgers, right? That's fine on, you know, whatever income you get. And maybe it's a healthy income. Maybe it's like $25 an hour or $50 an hour but you're still flipping burgers, right? So here's the thing with our business. We all come in and we get excited about selling life insurance. Absolutely critical because none of us get paid unless there's sales being done and we all have to do it. So sales is kind of like the default job description. It's not above and beyond. It's not like we're not, I mean, we pat each other's backs and we congratulate for sales, but sales is what you're supposed to do. That pays your paycheck right? That pays your bills, makes your mortgage. That's you flipping burgers in the McDonald's franchise. Now, building is where you're entering into that part of the agreement where you have the chance to own that McDonald's franchise one day. But if you don't do that, and if you're just happy with sales only, then you're always going to be flipping burgers. And one day you're going to go home smelling like grease, like you used to. I, this is my first job. It's McDonald's. So I know I, you know, my whole room just started just that you bring that smell with you and you got to wash your clothes all the time and you're scratching the grease off your chin, you're showering and everything. Yeah. So you're going to have that, you know, the, the, your back's going to get tired you're going to, you know, burn out. You're going to get, wish you had, could take more time off, but you're stuck and trapped because you are trading time for dollars. You're self-employed and you might make a good salary, but you're still self-employed. So if the offer on the table is you can flip burgers for a time, but you get to also own this McDonald's and walk away and have it cash flow for whatever, you know, long as it's successful. Why would you not take that second one? Why would you discount that second one and say, 
nah, I'm, I'm going to settle for just flipping because I get a paycheck, right? We're all addicted to paychecks. It's our society. We're trained to go to school, get a good job, and then get a paycheck and let the company take care of you, right? That's kind of how society trains us. But look at the bigger picture. You sell life insurance for a little while. Okay, got to do it, right? We all have to do it. We're all selling. Great. That's the basic default job description. But if you aren't building, you're missing out on the bigger picture, the bigger opportunity at Equus. So start building. How do we do that? We plug people in. So here's what I'm going to tell you. Get people to the webinar. Um, it's a recorded one on my site. There's uh, the live ones that Eric does on Wednesday nights. On Saturday mornings, there's a live one. And Thursday nights, the daily roundtable evening edition is also a presentation. Okay. And if for whatever reason, people can't make a live one, you send them a link to the recorded presentation that I did. So there is no reason that you can't get somebody in front of this information. You can send, there's so many different ways you can do it. So all you're doing is you're sending people to the Equus system. Now they're just entering the system, right? They see the webinar or they listen to the presentation, the opportunity, and they say, oh, that's interesting. They get back to you. I'd like to get started. Okay. You plug them in. I'm going to send you to the same places where I'm getting my information. Team call on Monday, daily round call on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday with breakout sessions. I mean, we didn't have this months ago or when I was starting. So cool. These tools that we have have improved so much just in the last five years since I've been doing this. You get a choose your breakout session. Where are you struggling? You choose that room. And guess what? You're live in a group setting being coached by one of the top producers at Equus. It might be a builder, it might be for dialing, it might be producing, it might be overcoming objections, it might be running an appointment, whatever your topic is that you need help with, boom, it's right there. And guess what? The person you brought into the system gets to plug into the same room and learn from the same person. So much more efficient than you having to learn all the answers and train all these people one by one. So my point today is the value of having a system, just like McDonald's, they can buy a franchise, somebody can buy a franchise, fill it full of teenagers, and it'll be wildly successful. You never see McDonald's going out of business, do you? Why? Because they're not masters of food, okay? Their food's garbage. I don't even like McDonald's. I can make a much better burger myself at home. I think you'd probably agree, right? So why are McDonald's so successful? Well... It's because of their system. They have an amazing system that they have perfected for decades and decades. And they can take a, a brick and mortar store, fill it full of teenagers, throw some, some you know, uh, procedures at it and the, the book and the training, whatever, videos, I don't know. I mean, they have a McDonald's university because you know that I enrolled when I was first learning how to be an employee, how to flip fries, how long do you leave the burger on, all those things. They're all exact down to a science. And you don't vary from it. So the product tastes exactly the same. The power of having a system in your hands allows you to duplicate and make as much money as you want. So my encouragement for you today with this podcast, along with the announcement that I built out another tool for all of us to use, okay, and more good stuff is coming, by the way. I want this agent builder site to handle all the sales things. So you can just plug someone and say, go there. And then get on our team calls daily. You'll learn how to do this. I'm here to help you build. Okay. So my, my plea is for you to see the bigger picture of what building can do for your future versus staying an employee and flipping burgers. You've got the offer. The Equus offer is you can flip burgers for a time, but you can also own this franchise. Do you want both or do you just want to flip burgers? Okay. And the cool thing is that they leave it each to us to, to answer that question. So I'll leave that with you. Are you how are you going to answer that? Do you want to make all your money just on the left side of the quadrant as an active participant till one day you'll burn out and get tired and just not want to sell anymore? Or do you want to start building while you're doing that? Okay. Uh, right business to make your paycheck so that you can fund your building and build an agency so that one day you have enough passive income coming in because the system is generating that for you. 
And now you have a completely different lifestyle. You can choose to keep flipping burgers if you want, but you don't have to anymore. That's what freedom is all about. All right. Thank you for listening. I hope this helps clarify why we have such a heavy emphasis on building. And I hope you all see the bigger picture. Have an awesome day and let's go out and build our agencies. Take care.